Hey, vegan fools. This is my 300th video. 300! Please clap. I think that calls for a good rant when you consider how much of a positive influence I've been able to have on my vegan community and how much respect I've gotten from the other leaders. Let's say this calls for a really big rant. It's time to hit the road. I want to talk about genuine advocacy. Put that into less elitist terms used by delusional people. It means to promote something such as veganism. <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about actually promoting veganism here. Now, I've just made 300 videos in my activity on social media over the last seven years has been on par with that kind of activity. This is what I do. I got a question for you. What do you do? Now, a lot of leaders, the popular people on YouTube, what they're doing, they're going to the bank. They're chatting with their investment brokers. But what you're doing right now is actually helpful. You may not realize how much power you can have as a keyboard warrior, or even without the keyboard, like a mouse warrior. The viewers are the ones with the power. Not all of it. You may not have money for advertising, but you have the power in numbers. The viewers are what YouTube wants. That's how they make their income. And they're watching your viewing habits and clicking habits. Those are two different things. But what seems to be happening on YouTube doesn't look good. Who, who are the ones with all the attention? Who are people watching? The people coming in from the outside and, the, and doing searches? Who did they find? You can see who they're finding. The ones who get tens of thousands or millions of views. Because that's what YouTube puts in their faces. They do that because the initial viewers have sent a message to YouTube. YouTube uses programs that monitor your habits on YouTube. That's how they decide what videos they're going to promote. When you watch a video, you demote it if you leave early and go on to do something else. You promote it if you interact, giving it a thumbs up and commenting. You, you know, all that stuff, but there's more stuff. Watching another video from the suggestions, the videos that come up on the screen after the video ends. And when what message are vegans sending to YouTube? Well, I've always said that there's a difference between vegans and other people. Definitely notice trends with meat eaters. Well, vegans are definitely more ethical. I've always thought they were smarter and more driven. And I don't mean driven to the bank by your chauffeur. <laughs> yeah, like they... <laughs> but just look at what's going on. What's going on in the vegan community is what happens all over the place. For instance, that video called uh, Dear Fat People, the creator made another video. Of course, because it's destined to bring in millions of views like the first one did. And why did it do that? Because of some bitch ri ridiculing them, saying it's all your fault. And she might be mostly right, as Freely once said, but she's not doing it to help that people. If you look in the comments, which you should not do, do not go to this video and be a sheep like all the other people. We're vegans, we're supposed to be better than this. Gravitate to the positive. 
bitch that doesn't know what she's talking about. Even though she might be right there. But in the end, she's not going to be helping anyone. She's just helping herself. I looked at the comments, and almost all of them are negative. I've never seen it that negative. And that's interesting. Almost all of my comments are positive. Yet, I can't grow at all. I get 100 views. She's getting millions of views on each video. So how does that work? Well, it does work because as I posted to all those people, I said, people, when you leave a negative comment, YouTube sees that as a comment. A lot of comments. All YouTube cares about is there's a lot of interaction on this video. A lot of views coming in. And the views are from her initial audience, which she developed because she does cheap crap sophomore humor and that's where a whole bunch of people go for them. and the internet has more the demographic and that's a problem oh i can't be saying that can I? I have to leave that for my website my website's about to get bigger it seems like they're voting for the same kind of bullshit the meat eaters do people pretending to worship the devil and every once in a while you pull out a knife and all kinds of bitches with their unnatural bullshit. People would seem to want to have that instead of someone who's sincere, actually helping people, and actually funny too at the same time. Maybe the decent vegans just aren't being as active. I know that some of my viewers are active. I do get some shares. I get a great thumbs up ratio. I just need viewers. Yeah. Why doesn't YouTube see my thumbs up? I don't know. It's a factor. But there's other factors. I could be close to making it. I just need more action here. So I say, get on your butts. Get on the couch. And start being more proactive. Purposely watching the good channels. And, and not the bad ones. Give a thumbs up on all the good videos. And most people never give thumbs up, never comment. I don't know why that is. <laughs> Leave a comment, let me know. <laughs> now back to me for a second. I'm now doing everything that I possibly can. It did take me a while to get my videos in shape, to get them good enough to be able to compete. Uh, now I have it all covered. Audio, video, faster pace. And then on social media and all over the place. And I got the tags and the subscription and the links. So the ball's in your court. You've got to take it from here. you got to put your carbs to use. Make your better life worth it. A few months ago, I made a video asking if I should stop making videos. And interesting enough, that video got a lot of views. What I mean is like three times as much as my others, which is still low. The consensus was that I should keep going, of course. Well, this is like a full-time job trying to make it on YouTube. If you don't put full-time in, <laughs> you're just not going to compete with the people who are putting full-time in. All those people, those people who have made it, they have banked on making it. And a few weeks ago, I said that I could go till through March, maybe, if I had some funding. I had an increase in January, but going back down to where it was. I'm working part-time in the family business and it's it could pick up at any time and I'd have to accept full-time just about. And if I do that, I just can't go back. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to you know, just cut my hours drastically and say, oh, I'm going to make videos. <laughs> Nobody does that. But I did have a viewer that gave me a donation a few weeks ago when I asked for two dollars for my viewers. One person. And get this. This person was Natasha, who is a low carber. She's against vegans. So this doesn't look good for the vegans. Speaking of which, you can decide where your donation will go. If you want to put it into advertising, which is one of the only tools I have because I'm not getting 
promotions from the popular people. That's one of the biggest ways to make it on YouTube. Seems those days are over uh, for the vegan community. So advertising's where it's at. This unnatural bitch doing that. That's the only way she can make it. And advertising isn't expensive either. It's pretty cheap. I've done it myself on a few of my videos. And it's effective, all right. I think if all my viewers put in just one buck, we could make one video get many thousands of views. 10 or 20,000 even. It's just an initial boost is all you need. And then it gets into search results. Then you can get the bigger views on top of that. That's why you see people with millions of views. And then you see people with uh, dozens. There's a whole bunch of vegans out there. Just get dozens of views. Some of the videos are pretty good too. But the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. We gotta start putting our money where our mouth is. And what's even cooler is I'll give you the option of deciding which videos you want to put your money into. My last video, linking Jeb Bush's diet to his failure, I got some good compliments on that. But the video needs to get in front of people's faces. And I can't do that with my subscriber base right now. Speaking of that video, just a few hours ago, someone posted that video onto a website. And being there just for five hours, that post there on that site got four more shares. And, and, and it could spread out and it keeps getting shared. And that's what's meant by going viral. That's how videos go viral. If enough people share them to people who share them again. So get on your couch, get on your mouse, get the ball rolling. It's fitting that I've reached this 300 number because my channel is about to take another turn. I keep it fresh here. For the last year, I've mentioned my upcoming ebook. I've never had time for it because I was busy making videos and trying to find out how to get people to watch the videos. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to hearing the comments for this book, but I just can't wait for them. This book is mind-blowing. So I've, I've been able to make my videos good, kind of like my writing, but that took a lot of time because of well, my, my personality and the speaking ability <laughs> it gets in my way. But with writing, that's just so much easier to put out what's inside my head and make it perfect without anything getting in the way. So I gotta get back to it. Now remember, not only should you like, share, and subscribe, but you should also watch the suggested videos, comment, lots of comments, keep writing. The words get out there onto the internet. They become searchable words. That's what the internet's all about. Start making playlists. That's one of the ways you can be almost like a video maker without making videos. You can have playlists. I'll see you in the comments below. Bye, everybody. They're calling up their investment brokers. They're going to the bank. They're calling them. They're going. <laughs> <laughs>